Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Graphics Card. Starting at number 5. XFX Speedster SWFT210. The RX 7600 isn't a showstopper graphics card, but it's the closest we've seen to a true budget offering this generation. Arriving art $270, the GPU offers above 60 frames per second in demanding titles like Cyberpunk 2077 at 1080p. That's what you want out of a graphics card under $300. The RX 7600 manages to meet, and often exceed, the 60 frames per second mark for demanding titles at 1080p. It also supports AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution FSR, so it can scale up to higher frame rates in titles like Starfield and Alan Wake 2. The card only really loses out when it comes to ray tracing. AMD cards aren't great when it comes to ray tracing, and this budget-focused offering doesn't change that story. It can handle some lighter ray tracing in games like Resident Evil 4, but you'll need to turn off the feature in anything more demanding. Coming at number 4. AMD Radeon RX. The AMD RX 7900 GRE seems like a mistake. The card was originally released in China several months ago, and it never seemed like it would come to the US. Now, it's finally here, and with a bargain bin price of $550. It's a direct response to Nvidia's competition at around this price, delivering slightly better performance than the RTX 4070 Super overall for a lower price. In our review, we call it the best AMD GPU we've seen this generation. It manages to match the RTX 4070 Super at a lower price, while outclassing the RTX 4070 by around 15% at the same price. For frame chasers, the RX 7900 GRE is the best GPU at this price. The main reason the RX 7900 GRE loses out from a top slot is the RTX 4070 Super, for a slight premium, you have access to better ray tracing performance and DLSS. At number 3. AMD Radeon RX 7900. The lineup of current gen GPUs all have one thing in common, they're expensive. That makes choosing the best GPU tough, but AMD has a compelling offer this time around. The RX 7900 XTX offers flagship performance at an excellent value amid the inflated landscape of GPU prices right now. For raw performance, the RX 7900 XTX is capable of running the most demanding PC above 60 frames per second FPS, and in the case of titles like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Horizon Zero Dawn, it can even hit around 100 frames per second. It can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the RTX 4080 Super, though it has lost some rankings since Nvidia dropped the price of its 4K GPU. In addition, it's smaller, and it calls for standard 8-pin power rather than the 12-pin connector featured on Nvidia's most recent GPUs. That doesn't mean the RX 7900 XTX is without faults. It gets loud and it runs hot and compared to Nvidia, it lacks prowess in ray tracing games. Number 2 of my list NVIDIA GeForce RTX The original RTX 4080 was a bit of a disappointment due to its high price, but the RTX 4080 Super corrects that. Coming in at $200 less, it's the premium 4K gaming graphics card that we've been begging for, and it delivers stable performance across a wide swath of games. Although the RTX 4080 Super isn't quite as powerful as the RTX 4090, Features like DLSS 3 help fill in the gap. That makes ray tracing possible at 4K, even at high frame rates. DLSS isn't new, but the addition of frame generation and ray reconstruction on the RTX 4080 Super can massively boost your frame rate in demanding titles. The card is big and bulky, but unlike the RTX 4090, it doesn't require a ton of power. It stays at the same wattage as the previous generation, and in real-world use, it actually consumes about 50W less. For video editing, it's tough to beat the RTX 4080. Although there are better value options for gaming, Nvidia still has a massive lead in video editing, and it accelerated tasks in apps like Adobe, After Effects and DaVinci Resolve in a way that AMD graphics cards just can't. And number 1. 
NVIDIA GeForce RTX. The RTX 4070 was already a great graphics card, but NVIDIA made it even better with a super refresh. This new version is between 10% and 15% faster than the base model based on our testing, and it still comes with all of the features that made the original version so impressive. Now, you're getting frame rates at the target resolution that are consistently above 100 frames per second, and often much more. On top of that the RTX 4070 Super has enough power to press up to 4K, assuming you make a few compromises in the most demanding games. It's the Swiss army knife of graphics cards, filling its duty as a gaming workhorse in just about any situation. It comes with Nvidia's excellent DLSS 3.5, as well. It's a huge asset in games like Alan Wake 2 with path tracing turned on, and it can make demanding games more playable at 4K. Between DLSS 3, solid raw performance, and an attainable price, the RTX 4070 super nails a sweet spot that most graphics cards miss. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.